What's up nerds, my name is Abdul Nafe and welcome back to a brand new video. And in this one we're gonna be learning how to make this amazing render inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now this tutorial is mainly made for Unreal beginners who have very little experience inside of Unreal Engine 5. However, you will be expected to know the basics like navigating the viewport, using the move tool, rotate tool, etc. In this video, we're gonna be covering the basics of importing models from Blender, texturing, lighting, and rendering inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now, even if you are an Unreal Engine 5 intermediate user, I would still recommend you to watch this video because it's filled with useful tips and tricks, which will help you simplify your workflow. So if you wanna take your Unreal Engine 5 skills to the next level, then start this class today. Thank you. Also, by the way guys, if you want inspiration or ideas for your future 3D projects, then be sure to follow me on Instagram at Nafi3D. I post all my 3D work there and on my stories, I post my process and uh, sometimes short tutorials on how to make um, the stuff that I make. Uh, recently, I made this uh, 3D forest inside of Unreal Engine 5. Um, and apart from that, yeah, just be sure to follow me over there. And I you will also get notified whenever I post a new sculpture class or a longer format course. And apart from that, if you want feedback on your art or you wanna give feedback uh, on my art, then be sure to DM me or comment on any of my posts and I'll be more than happy to respond to you. And apart from that, yeah, let's start the video. All right, guys, so we are back inside Unreal Engine 5 and here we're going to be creating this animation. So this is going to be our reference animation. Uh, now, I did make this earlier in Unreal Engine 5 and we're basically going to be replicating this. Um, and so yeah, we're going to be importing the models from Blender and then we're going to be um, importing these pictures from Unsplash, I think. Uh, and we're just going to be importing all the models from uh, most of them from Blender and some of them from <clears throat> a, um, a basically a model pack which comes inside Unreal Engine. Uh, you can download that from the marketplace, but I'm going to show you how. Uh, and most of these models are from Blender Kit add on inside Blender. Uh, so I'm just going to be teaching you how to install that too. And basically, this is the animation. So uh, I'm going to be guiding you with lighting, texturing, and everything. So it's going to be pretty simple actually. So first of all, I need a reference image, which is going to be for me, this is going to be the reference image. Now, basically, the reason why I use this image is that we can see all um, we can see the whole room basically from here. And we're just going to be replicating this, right. But obviously, when you are uh, when you're making something from scratch, when you don't have a reference, then I would recommend you to go to Pinterest. And there you can just find some cool inspiration, just search um interior, interior. And you can you're gonna see a lot of these um very cool interiors and architecture architecture visualizations. So you can just copy any of these, or you can just come up with your own idea. Which for beginners, I would not recommend. I would recommend you to first copy others' ideas. Then I would suggest you to come up with your own ideas because usually copying other artists' ideas is gonna um basically copying professional artists' work is gonna uh, increase your creativity and it's going to make you <clears throat> a gen generally a better artist. Uh, all right, so let's begin. So first of all, I'm just going to go inside Blender. <clears throat> if you don't have Blender installed, just install it by searching Blender. And just go to blender.org and just download it from here. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be deleting everything. Uh, and so what we're going to be doing is that we are going to be using an add on inside Blender called Blender Kit. Now if I just go here, and if I open Blender Kit, you're going to see uh, I have this right here. But if you don't have the add-on installed, then it's not going to show up here. So for that, you just have to go to BlenderKit.com and just download the add-on from here. Uh, just press this button, download Blender Kit, and just download it like this. Now it is showing you all the instructions um, how to on how to install this right here. But I'm just going to be walking you through. All right, so once it's downloaded, just go to Blender and go to Edit. <clears throat> references add-ons and here you can just press this install button and just browse to wherever you had that install uh wherever you had that add-on installed so i'm just going to go to uh downloads and here you're going to see we have this blender kit right here and just press this install add-on uh, i'm not going to do that because i already i already do have that installed so it's going to come up here like this but it's not going to be checked by default so just make sure to check it uh, just press this checkbox and then it's going to be enabled and after that, you're going to see uh, this Blender Kit option is going to pop up here. Now you can search for any model, uh, anything, and basically models are going to come up for that. I'm just going to search sofa. I'm just going to go to the search filters and I'm going to be checking this free first because we want to see the free models only. Um, yeah, so I think the one which I used in this was this one right here. This one, yeah. Uh, but you can obviously choose any of them. So just uh, press whichever you want and it's going to come up in your viewport which is going to be pretty good and 
Now, uh, if you don't know how to use Blender, this is not uh, necessarily a Blender tutorial, uh, but I am going to be walking you through how to export the model from Blender to, Un uh, to Unreal Engine 5. Um, and that's pretty simple, actually. So once you have your models, uh, once you have a model imported, what you have to do is you just have to go to edit, uh, actually not edit, just go to file, export and FPX. Okay, now once you press that, uh, you're going to see this menu is going to pop up and just go to wherever you want to um, export that model to. I'm just going to go to my models folder. Um, and I already do have that exported. So for example, I think it was, yeah, this one leather sofa right here. Uh, but once you've uh, browsed to wherever you want to export that, just press export FPX and it's going to export that. I'm not going to do that because I already do have it exported here. So I'm just going to press cancel. And now once you have exported that, what you have to do is you just have to simply go to wherever you downloaded that, uh, wherever you exported this model. And it's right here. Okay, perfect. So let's go back to Unreal Engine. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be making a new folder. I'm just going to be right clicking this. Oops, just go to content, right click and new folder. I'm just going to be naming it models. Oops. I'm just going to be naming it model because uh, I already do have a folder named models uh, in which I already did import them. Uh, but I'm going to be importing them once again uh, to show you guys. So what I'm going to do inside this folder, I'm just going to be simply dragging this FPX inside of Unreal Engine right here. And now you're going to see everything is going to be imported. If I just import all, you're going to see that that sofa, uh, that the 3D model of the sofa is going to be imported just like that. And it's pretty simple. The workflow, the workflow is pretty seamless and it's pretty easy to be honest. Right, perfect. So you're going to see this leather sofa is here. And if I just drag it onto my viewport, you're going to see that we have, if I just increase my camera speed a little bit, you're going to see we have the sofa. But right now we don't have any lighting or anything like that. We don't have any materials, nor do we have any lighting. That's why it looks very bad. So I'm just going to be undoing that. Uh, so yeah, let's first work on uh, the base. Um, now, basically, now you know how to import models. Now let's start working on this um, the, the the interior, basically the architecture first. Uh, so first of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go inside Blender and I'm just going to be deleting this for now. Click select objects and delete. I'm just going to be releasing this as well. Uh, press this I button right here to close this uh, Blender kit, by the way. All right, so let's start. Uh, let's start working on uh, the basic shape of the house. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be simply uh, um, creating a cube and this cube is going to be our um, house. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be uh, make sure that your dimensions are correct. So I'm just going to go to Google and I'm going to be searching average room height. And here you're going to see it's nine feet, but I want to know what's nine feet in nine feet in meters. All right, so it's around 2.7 meters. So I'm just going to be setting the height of this cube uh, to 2.7 meters. But where exactly can we change the height? Just go to item. And here you're going to see the dimensions. So I'm just going to be setting the dimensions of Z to 2.7. And that's just going to make it like that. And next, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be going to the side view. I'm going to press G and Z to move it up so that it's basically aligned um, with the ground. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that I, I'm just going to eyeball it doesn't really need to be that precise, but like the more precise it is, the better. I think that should be fine. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be locking the Z, um, uh, basically the scale and the Z axis. So I'm just going to be set setting this to, I'm just going to be checking that lock. Now you're going to see if I just scale it up by pressing S, you're going to see it's going to um, scale up in the X and Y axis only, not in the Z axis. So I can just um, adjust it according to whatever I want. I think something like that should be fine. Um, although, yeah, I think that should be fine. We can obviously tweak this later on inside of Unreal Engine. Um, perfect. Right, so next up, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be creating a window. Um, <clears throat> so for that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to edit mode and I'm just going to be going to face select mode. Now, I'm not going to be explaining what the settings are in Blender. If you don't know what Blender is, then you can, um, if you don't know how to use Blender, then I would suggest you to watch a tutorial on that first, because obviously if you're learning Unreal Engine, then I would recommend you to first learn um, Blender and then move on to Unreal Engine. Uh, so, or any other edit or any other like 3D modeling software. So something like that. And I'm just going to be selecting this edge. I'm just GX, move it here. Something like that should be a good window. And I'm just going to be selecting this face and let me just extrude it out. And then extrude and scale it up a little bit, something like that. 
Let's do that again. And now I'm going to be deleting this face. So the reason why I did all that was because if you look at it from the inside, you're going to see it kind of looks like a window now. And that's just much better. Perfect. So, uh, all right. So ba we're basically done with the house shape. I'm just going to be shaping the ceiling a little bit. So I'm just going to, oops, I'm just going to be selecting the top, the top face and I'm going to be insetting it a little bit. Something like that. Let me just extrude it up a little bit. Something like that should be good. That's just going to create a very simple ceiling. And yeah, perfect. Actually, let me just move it up a little bit. Um, GZ tab it. But obviously, this comes down to your personal preference. Uh, whatever you prefer, you can just do that. And once you're done with the basic shape, let me just make sure that we've done everything. Uh, we are going to be adding those um, wooden um, wooden things on the top later on. But I guess for now, we are good to go. Um, we can obviously tweak this later on inside of Unreal Engine as well. But I think we are good to go for now. Actually, let me just increase. Let me just take this face and let me just GZ and move it a little bit like that. Yeah, and while we're at it, let me just UV unwrap this as well. So I'm just going to go to tab to go to into edit mode. Press A to select everything. U to go into UV, map, UV mapping menu. And let me just smart UV predict this. And I'm going to see it's going to be UV unwrapped automatically. All right, perfect. So before exporting this, we you have to make sure uh, that we're doing one thing. And that's going to be uh, to separate this, uh, separate the meshes from each other, right? So because we're going to be applying a different material to the walls and to the ground, okay, uh, to the floor. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be selecting this, this, and this, and actually this, all these, right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to press P to separate, and I'm going to press selection. So what this is going to do is that it's going to separate these walls from uh, uh, the, basically the ceiling. And that's exactly what you want. Actually, I'm just going to undo that because I forgot to select one part. So I'm just going to undo that. Right. So uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be uh, going to tab, go to edit mode, select all these. Like that. Let me just select all the walls. But obviously, if you're doing this inside another, um, another 3D software, you might do this a little differently. But it obviously depends on your own 3D software and on your own preferences. Uh, I think that should be fine. Now just press P. Select, separate by selection. Now you're going to see all the walls are going to be separated from the ceiling. All right, perfect. Now you're going to see we have these two objects. Now I'm just going to name this walls and I'm going to name this floor and ceiling. I think that's fine. All right, let me just select this and make sure that everything is fine. So, okay, so a little part of the window is also inside um, uh, the ceiling, but that's fine, I guess, because doesn't really matter that much. Um, actually, one thing which I'm going to do is that I'm going to be separating the ceiling from the floor as well, because uh, we want to apply a different material to the floor as compared to the ceiling, right? So we're just going to separate that. Okay, so I'm just going to select this P, separate by selection. And this new one, I'm going to name it floor. And the other one, I'm going to name it ceiling. Another way to do this uh, would be by using planes, by uh, making a lot of planes and just duplicating them. But I find that this method is a little easier. Uh, but for beginners, beginners might find that a little easier. So you can just do whatever you want. And I think we are basically done with that. Perfect. So next up, let me just export this into Unreal Engine. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to File, Export, FBX, and I'm going to go to Models. And let me just name this Room. TUT. Perfect. Uh, now let me just go inside my model. And let me just uh, actually let me just select all these. And just move actually let me just first create a new folder uh, named sofa. And let me drag all these inside this new folder. So this is just some organization. Um, and I would suggest you to keep your projects very organized and very um, tidy because that's gonna um, and that's going to help you when the projects get very complex and it's going to make your workflow much easier. I'm going to make another one. I'm going to name this room. And let me just import this uh, room to it inside this folder. Perfect. 
cool so now you're gonna see everything is selected but now there are separate objects right but how do exactly do you place them perfectly just select all of them and just drag it in and you're gonna see all of them are gonna be perfectly aligned by default so that's something pretty handy uh but before that let me just start with the lighting first uh so for the lighting i'm just gonna go to window and we're gonna go to this env light mixer and this is a tool which we can use to add all the lights which we need um so just i'm just gonna create a skylight atmospheric light zero we're not going to be creating an atmospheric light one because we already do have one um create a sky atmosphere create volumetric cloud and create height fog now all this stuff uh, the reason why we did all this stuff was to get all this um cool lighting you're going to see we have these clouds we have a sun and we have a whole environment which is pretty cool so next up let me just start uh with this room let me just import it like that Actually, before that, let me just do one thing. Let me just go to um, landscape mode and let me just create a landscape to like make a floor first. And then we're going to be placing this on top of that floor. Uh, that's just going to make things a little bit easier for us. So now once our landscape is created, let me just go back to select mode and let me just import this right on top of this landscape. Uh, so it's just going to be grounded really nice. All right, perfect. Uh, so now one thing which I'm going to be doing is that, okay, one problem which we're noticing is that all right, this is a very uh, important thing, which I want you guys to notice. You're going to see if I go inside this um, inside this um, room, you're going to see that we're actually not seeing any of the walls. Now, this is because we forgot to flip the normals. Now, what exactly are the normals? Basically, normals are the sides which are going to be um, viewed by the viewer, right? And by default, this cube was supposed to be viewed from the outside. If I go back to Blender, this is supposed to be viewed from the outside. Um, and although it doesn't make a difference uh, in Blender, uh, which which way you have normals, uh, but it does make a huge difference in Unreal, Unreal Engine 5. So to fix this, what we're going to be doing is that inside Blender, we're just going to be flipping the normals. Now, how, how exactly do you see where our normals are pointing at the moment? Just simply go to this menu and just select this face orientation. Now you're going to see the ones, uh, the side which is blue is the front side of the normals and the side which is red is going to be the back side of the normals. And now we want the blue side to be inside this um, object. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be selecting all of them tab into edit mode and press a to select everything go to mesh normals and just flip now you're going to see all the normals are going to be flipped and it is ready to be viewed from the inside perfect now if i go to the outside you're going to see it's not supposed to be viewed from the outside okay uh so we're just going to be importing this inside of uh unreal engine once again i'm going to be exporting this as fbx again as room dot i'm just going to name it new this time because it's a new object and I'm just going to be deleting all this delete force delete and let me just import this into Unreal Engine once again now you're going to notice with a lot of objects this is going to be a problem for you because Unreal Engine can view one normal uh, and you're going to see it's perfectly fine from the inside now that's pretty cool uh, and apart from that let me just do uh, I think we are basically good to go let me just start working on um, what do you call it the whole room now 